So we've had a hands-on play with Phyrexia all we want for a couple of weeks now. So you know what that means, it's spoiler time for the next release. Uh, we've had much of the machines, a big information dump come out from Wizards. They've put up a video um, up a web page as well. I'll put some links down below so you can go check them out. Um, I'm going to have a quick run through of some of the interesting things that I've pulled from it, some little Easter eggs and uh, tidbits that I think is going to be cool for us to see coming up. Um, what we do have is card previews are from March the 29th to April the 5th. So so we know that, which is really cool to see. Uh, our in-store launch party events is April the 21st to the 23rd. So it's not too far away, a couple of months to wait, um, but we will get some cool cards. There's some interesting things that have come out. Uh, this release, we're going to see set boosters, drafts, collectors, the bundles, pre-release pack, jump starts. And they're going even further with Commander this time. They're releasing five of the decks. Uh, last time we saw this was Strixhaven, where they did five. They did two of the colors um, each. And yeah, so it's going to be a really interesting set. One thing they've done with the Commanders this time is they're bringing back uh, Planes Chase, which if you haven't played it before, it's uh, sort of an add-on to Commander. It's pretty cool. You get a whole heap of these cards. Um, you get a dice that you roll on and you can pay mana to keep trying to roll to get to different planes. Each planes have their own effect and um, there are some special cards that do different things in here as well, like make you go to different planes or multiple planes at once. So by the looks of it, they're giving you 10 new planes or planes effects in each commander deck, which is pretty interesting to see them come back. Uh, and also a dice, which I'm gonna guess is gonna be this planes dice, which is the one that either activates the planes or you roll to get off the plane. Um, um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, these old existing uh, planes go up in price uh, because, yeah, they're, they're still hard to get as it is right now. Um, but if you got some, it'll be a nice addition. We're getting 50 of them, 50 new cards. So it's probably going to be a little bit more than what we've got already, um, which is really nice. Then uh, there's a whole heap of uh, new treatments coming out. Well, sorry. I should say not new treatments, they're old treatments on some new cards. So they're calling it the booster fun treatment. Um, they're basically trying to pull what's happened across all the different planes into the one set. So if you open up a pack, you're gonna see uh, foil treatments from like Kaladesh, it looks like they've done the invocations from there. Um, you're gonna get like the new streets of Capenna, those gilded foils, the nice like gold etching around them. Um, expeditions in Zendikar. So we're gonna see some interesting crossovers here. Uh, I don't know how prevalent they'll be. They haven't said what's in there. A lot of the cards that they're doing it to look like it's in sort of the mythic slot. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of this sort of sits around the um, collector booster treatment, but they've got like Ragavan getting printed in what looks like a Kaladesh invocation, which is really cool. Um, they've got some new effects, like they've done the new a new Omnath with, with uh, black in it or Phyrexian, um, but they've put him in the Zendikar expedition, uh, which looks really amazing. And um, they're doing a lot of things in this called team ups where they're gonna put like two heroes together and that's what the card is. Um, there's some interesting ones like you got Thalia and the Gitrog monster as a nice one, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's just showing you them going across all the different planes. So you've got a lot of those traditional heroes that we've seen in the past sets that are coming together to fight the Frexians in their own planes. Um, you've even got like they've crossed over onto Theros and you can see Heliods now being perfected into a god, um, Frexian god, which is interesting, uh, weird, but really cool. Um, yeah, so there's there's a lot of cool treatments. Um, there's a lot of new information coming out about it. Uh, they've definitely confirmed that they're going across lots of the planes. So it'd be interesting to see how far they go. Um, they've got the uh, life gain land cycles. So the ones that come in tapped and give you a life. A lot of the flavor texts on the bottom of them actually show what planes they're going to as well, which is pretty cool. That's a nice little Easter egg that they've put in there. Um, on the video that they put up, they discussed a lot of the old planes that they're revisiting like uh, Law and, um, and things like that. So there's gonna be a lot of crossover here. Um, 
it's going to be interesting to see how the set all comes together, whether it's just like a multicolor bonanza just all smashed together in one set with lots of legendary creatures, lots of planeswalkers and bits and pieces just all tied into it. Um, I've got a very good feeling that it's going to be heavily multicolored. Uh, you look at the commander decks alone and the commander decks are a lot of them are three colors. I'm pretty sure they all are three colors. Um, yeah. They've got a pre-release cards which are coming out and they've um, spoiled them, which is really cool. There's a nice one called Goro Goro and Satoro. Um, <laughs> pretty cool name. I like it. Uh, not a lot of flavor text on a lot of the cards, which is a bit disappointing. But I mean, they've put a lot of rules text in them now. So they're mechanically unique, a lot of these cards that they're doing. Uh, so there's definitely going to be a lot of commander cards coming out of this set from what I can see so far. And yeah, only time will tell how great this gets. So they're not doing a specialty like complete bundle this time. They're going to be doing the uh, March of the Machine, the Aftermath, which is a five card booster um, with 50 new standard legal cards in it. So it's a weird different take on what they've done before. So it's kind of like a tie up to the actual story. I think it's going to be a cool set. There's some interesting mechanics. Uh, you've got Jinka Taxis, which turns, it flips into a saga, um, which is pretty crazy. So looking at the art as well in the video, it kind of looks like they're going to do this sort of treatment to all the, all the um, Praetors. So it could be interesting to see if they actually do that or not, if we get three of each Praetor choices. Um, uh, they're also tying some secret layers to this. So they've announced that they're doing three drops with it. Um, some interesting cards you've got like Questing Beast is going to be reprinted, uh, Olivia Voldaren, you've got Walking Ballista in the Kaladesh Indication uh, style look to it, uh, and the World Tree. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. I know a lot of people are sort of torn over the Kaladesh Invocations. They were that sort of like initial sort of chase card that came out of that um, with them reprinting it or printing new cards it might tank the prices a little bit so yeah let us what you think below in the comments do you think this set's going to be a hit um, i know frexy all be one amazing set uh the commander decks we're still playing them unmodified they're great uh the set itself pulling a bit more infect slash poison um, into formats like Commander and even drafting it. We went to an event, uh, had a good draft of it. It was a really fun set to play. Um, yeah, let us know what you think about this set and have a great day.